or red track. What's going on, guys? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time on bullshit. I don't. <laughs> I just don't. But it's part of YouTube. It's part of YouTube. Believe it or not, in order to be relevant in, in most circles, I'm not going to say all of them, but pretty much everything on YouTube that does halfway well has some bullshit around it. You see what I mean? So let's not fool ourselves. Let's not fool ourselves. I was listening to, listening to uh, Mr. Skinny uh, the other day, and he's saying, he's giving, now this is Mr. Skinny, giving advice to Kwame Brown about what he should do about his page. And what he says is, <laughs> He says that the bullshit that Kwame's talking about is like low bullshit. He needs to talk about some high class bullshit. Like Hassan Campbell. Like, what? <laughs> and then the next day, Kwame Brown comes on and talks about Hassan Campbell. It's like, what? No, 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 no. Let me help you guys out again. Cause it's, it, I'm starting to feel like I'm the only person in this Kwame world sector that has any good sense. I mean, really, I'm, I really feel that way. In, I'm, of not anybody in the sector. I'm, I mean, of somebody that has a, a voice at all in the sector. Yeah, me, hands down, the voice of reason in this sector. Straight up. I mean, like. It's all bullshit. There's no higher level to it or lower level to it. You see what I mean? Like, if Kwame wants to talk about Uncle Shug and ears all the time, fuck it. Just talk about them. I'd rather you talk about them than talk about this and that case. What's the di Oh, the difference is that if he talks about Hassan Campbell, Hassan Campbell has more people listening to his bullshit, and so therefore... If you talk about his bullshit, then you'll get more views. Got it. I got it now. Okay. Got it. But to me, it just seems like, I mean, once you have so many after a while, right? I mean, what difference does it make? If, he, if you're going to, it's not going to make that big of a difference if he talks about Hassan Campbell. And if it and if it does, if it does make a difference, how long is that gonna last? You gonna go off to the next stupid thing he does and talk about him? Like you can't let, like for me, when I do my videos, right? I monitor it. If I see that I put up a video and it's got like a celebrity's name in the title, chances of you seeing that the next day are gonna be very very slim. Even if I get a lot of views on it, I won't do that because what will end up happening is um, you get pigeonholed so quick like that. Not by just the people that are watching you, but um, also um, YouTube, the log logarithm. You see what I mean? So I want, if I put up a nature video, I want YouTube to take that shit motherfucker serious. I don't want them to be like, Mm, he don't normally do that. He just let it go. You know, he'll be back to the bullshit tomorrow. No. Mm -mm. Nope. I want every video of mine to be scrutinized, just like when I put a celebrity's name in there. You put my shit up there, too. And if, and if they don't, I keep plowing on their ass with some more positive shit until they fucking recognize it. Then I get put them up a little bullshit bit video so that they can be happy. See what I mean? You can't let... You can't let the view thing dictate everything. You see what I mean? Once you know that you can apply the gas, you don't have to drive as fast as you can all the time. You see what I mean? Like, I don't drive as fast as I can. You see what I mean? Because then what ends up happening to my page? It turns into some shit that people are like, okay, I know what kind of videos he puts up. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I want people to come over here. Yeah, we're going to do the silly shit sometimes. We're going to do that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But at, at the at the same time, 
you're growing as a person. I'm growing as a person. We're all moving forward. Hopefully, you'll get enough confidence or whatever to start your own page. You know what I mean? Like, that's really what it's supposed to be about. This whole thing is supposed to be about a whole bunch of people coming together and letting us know what they're about. And I've said this in other videos. This is not them tube. It's YouTube. So I say, I don't want Kwame to go back to talking about Hassan Campbell because to me, that is just, that's an unfixable situation. That dude right there, man, what do you do with somebody like that? Who, who would go out and be screaming out in public like that? What, I mean, what, what can you do with somebody like that? If, if he got shot, if that's not good enough for him, you know, and then why are you going to you talk about the guy, right? A qu person with Qu Kwame Brown stature talking about him is bad for business. It's bad for business because what, what's going to end up happening is then he's going to be like, oh, okay, I see what gets attention now. It's just like when they do the, um, when they have these mass shooters out there, right? What have the news stations stopped doing? They 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 don't talk about that shit very long. We just had a Derek Chauvin got stabbed. That shit hits the news and it's off because they don't want certain crimes or certain actions of people to get, to get attention. You see what I mean? So now Kwame coming out and talking about her son, what does that do for his business? And what does it do for Kwame Brown's business? Doesn't do anything for Kwame. What does that do for Mr. Skinny? Now Mr. Skinny's telling Kwame what to do? Really? Like, it's like these guys, man, they have some age on them, but they like little boys still. Like, I see what, I see what, because I've never, this has been the first time that I've really listened to men talk like this. You know what I'm saying? Listen to the YouTube thing, you know, with the whole Kwame world thing. And what I'm starting to see now is that I, I see why women say, I, I want a man. I want a real man. I see what they mean by that. Because these dudes act like girls, man. They be on YouTube cursing. Like, they get, they let, like, let females get them riled up and shit. I don't even say shit to these women. When I be in the chat rooms and shit, they, trying, they be trying to come off on me. I don't say shit back to their ass. Let the motherfuckers can sit right there. You see what I mean? Don't be arguing with no woman and shit. What the fuck is she? What are you going to get out of that? The only thing she's going to get out of um, uh, a response from me is people might get a chance to know who she is. Nah, bitch. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Go argue with one of these little boys. They like to argue and shit. <laughs> These motherfuckers, they think that because they get mad and start cursing that that's creating, um, bravado. And it is to the untrained eye. You see what I mean? It is to the untrained eye. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who has to get that angry and cursing and all that stuff like that. Really, for real, they would have mental problems, like your boy Hassan. Like what he was doing out there in the street, I think that shit was real. I think something's really wrong with that motherfucker. You see what I mean? I don't want to talk about that motherfucker. I made a video on Hassan Campbell, right? When he did that shit, it was titled "What the Hell Is Wrong with You?" And um, you know, that did did pretty well. Got some pretty good um. Pretty good views, but I haven't mentioned him until today again. You know what I mean? It's been two weeks, and I was just like, I can't believe that Kwame Brown just fell for that. Like, nigga, it's all bullshit that you talk about. All of the videos you talk about is bullshit. And then you try to come off with some basic shit that everybody should know, acting like that shit's positive. And you know good and well that's some second grade advice that you're giving to people. You see what I mean? Like, you got a 400,000 person uh, channel. 
why don't you get on and help other black YouTubers get their numbers up? Instead of just mentioning the same four or five people every time you get off, why don't you pull up some people that you know are struggling to get to a thousand? Why don't you have a, um, some um, tips to um, increase views or get subscribers or, or do something positive? It's fucking Christmas coming up. What the fuck are you talking about? Who I signed Campbell for? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be smarter than that. You gotta be smarter than that and realize the, um, the influence that you have over people. Cause then you know what's gonna happen when you when you go talk about um, uh, Hassan Campbell. Guess what? All the other people that follow you are gonna do. You see, like I'm trying to figure out what positive could come out of you trying to change up like that, except for a few more views for a week. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, uh, <laughs> I didn't even want to do this video, but I, I felt like I needed to because maybe the world might get back. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with this whole thing. I'm kind of tired of it already. You know what I'm saying? Um, for all you new people coming over and don't know what in the world I'm talking about, um, I do videos. Um, about all kinds of things, and then I'm also involved with the whole Kwame, Kwame thing a little bit. So sometimes I'll just drop some stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not it's not that important. It's not that important. It's just a little game I'm playing. Um, but I do want to thank you guys for subscribing last week. I got a few more in, and we're moving closer to a 1,000, so... Keep telling everybody, everybody you know, write them some text messages. Let them know that you found the baddest man on YouTube.